in extending brackets, what we do is we open the brackets and uh, we write without the brackets. That is what expansion means. But the principle of expanding brackets is from multiplication, multiplying two numbers, suppose. You multiply, suppose, let us take two easy numbers, say 12 times, say, 6, we know is 72. Now, if I don't know 10 times 12 times 6, there's a different way of doing it. So, can I say this is, this, can I say this is 10 plus 2 times 6 plus 2. Oh, sorry. 4 plus 2. 10 plus 2 times 4 plus 2. I'm going to get this answer by showing you how to expand. So this is 10 times 4 plus 2 plus 2 times 4 plus 2. So this is, you're distributing 10 to this bracket and 2 to this bracket. So this is distributing 10 to this bracket. Now we are distributing 10 to 4 and 2. So this becomes 10 times 4 plus 10 times 2. Let me put this in a bracket. Plus 2 times 4 plus 2 times 2. Just like that. So this is 40 plus 20 plus 8 plus 4. Okay, am I right? So this is 60, this is 40 plus 20 is 60, and 4 plus 8 is 12, which is 72. So we're doing the same process, we're going to do the same process here. So this, this, you can come, this 12 you can compare with x plus 4, and 6 you can compare with x plus 5. Don't literally compare, so what I'm saying is, this bracket is compared with this x plus 4 and this can be compared with this. So can I say the same process? This is same as x times x plus 5 plus 4 times x plus 5. Okay. So now we will directly we'll not do this step. So I know x times x is x squared. <coughs> Excuse me. And x times 5 is 5x. Now 4 times x is 4x. And 4 times 5 is 20. Now the only difference here between these two is we can add all the numbers. Here you can add add all the numbers because they are unlike terms. You can't add x squared and 20. Okay, But you can add these two because they are like terms. So when, you're, when you're looking at 5x and 4x, you can look at it, this is 5 lots of x, 5x, for those who don't understand 5x, 5x means x plus x plus x plus x plus x, which is 5 times x, okay, or suppose if you have, say, 4 plus 4 plus 4, can we write is 3 times 4? So x plus x plus x 5 times is same as 5 times x, and 5 times x is 5x. Does it make sense? So this is 5 lots of x, and this is 4 lots of x. That's 9 lots of x plus 20. And you can't add them, and this is your final answer. Okay, so let me do the next example. The same process. So x times x plus 2, be very careful when you're dealing with minus, minus 3 times x plus 2. So, the same process, x times x is x squared, though here you've got more steps, uh, the good thing about doing this way is you end up doing less mistakes. So, x times 2, be a bit careful when you're dealing with negative. This is where most mistakes happen. We're dealing with negative. So negative 3 times x is negative 3x or minus 3x. And you're multiplying with negative 3. Okay. So this is where many of you will end up with writing plus 6. Okay. You write minus 3x. 
this is wrong okay I intentionally made that mistake just to show you that this should be minus 6 because you're multiplying with minus 3 now so this becomes this and this are like terms so this is x squared 2 lots of x take away 3 lots of x that is minus 1 lots of x minus you may not write the minus 1 there so this is the answer this is fine this is the second answer, second question's answer. One more. The same principle, x times x minus phi plus 4 times x minus phi. So this becomes x squared minus 5x plus 4x minus 20. So this is minus 5x plus 4x. So x squared, those who are not sure how to do this, you can do this on a calculator, minus 5 plus 4. If you get your calculators out, it's always good to be safe if you're not sure. So it's minus 5 plus 4 is negative 1, okay? So this is where most mistakes happen. So this is minus, you may not write that minus 1, that's understood. So this is the third question. And the last question same x times you can pause when you're listening to these videos and try to do it yourself and see whether you're getting the same answer this is all about practice the more practice you do the better you learn so it's x squared plus 3x minus 5x minus 15 okay this is where you can go wrong you have to write minus whenever you're dealing with minus be super super careful so minus 5x minus 15 okay now <coughs> okay i'll not confuse you so now this three i had to think what is three minus five okay x's are common so i'll get my calculator out and i'll type in three minus five which is negative two so my answer would be x squared minus 2x minus 15. See you in the next video.